Hey, how's it going, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Souling the Ark. I'm Flinger Foo, and we're doing the Beginner's Guide today. And today, uh, we are going to be working on something a little bit different. Um, well, because we went out and we got Big Mama yesterday, all right? And it's uh, getting close to sunset. Ah, sunset. All right, so uh, we're going to uh, come over here. And I've already learned the engrams for these. Uh, armor Scuba. All right, scuba legs. What am I missing from the scuba flippers? I'm missing chitin keratin. All right, so let's go over here, grab some chitin and keratin from that one. Yeah, I have just a little bit there. All right, and then back over here. Armor, scuba, scuba leggings. Turn on. Scuba leggings, scuba flippers, scuba mask. Get over here, get this closed. Later, base. I'll see ya, I hope. All right. Let's go. First I, first thing, I have to test something to see if it has actually changed. All right, let's get underneath here. And it used to be that if you hop off, yep, she still flies straight to the surface. That's not very good. All right, so I think we might have to go out and get another dino. Huh. Well, let's kill a few things first. Because if she goes straight to the surface, that's really not a big help. Alright. I was thinking they might have changed that. They haven't changed that. I mean... Yeah, I guess that uh, this Spino is just a different looking... Yeah. All right, so now that we've got plenty of meat, probably too much. Let's get another thing of health. You know, I'm gonna go another couple more of health. I don't like. Really? Let's see how you do against these guys. Well, there's one Megalodon. There's another Megalodon. Okay, so... He does pretty well underwater. Or she does pretty well. She does really well underwater, but she's encumbered. Wow, that is a lot of raw fish meat. And it seems to be her preferred meat, so I'm just gonna leave that on, that much on her. Let's go with some more melee damage. Wow, gained a few levels. All right, we're moving up. But this is nice, being able to finally explore. Sorry, Ichthys. Sorry. Sorry. Oh man, that's nice. I kinda like this. 
I just hope I don't meet a whole ton of mantis. Those things are the things that I'm, I'm most worried about. Mantis. Um, I think I can deal with a plesiosaur. A mosa would give me a big, would give me a, a really hard time. But a plessy I could deal with pretty easily, I think. I mean, she hits hard. And, of course, sharks aren't that big of a deal. At least lower level sharks. See that? Yeah. Oh my gosh. And this is a lot of meat I keep having to throw out. Maybe I should turn down the gather rates just so I can explore underwater without getting encumbered all the time. Okay. And this is the little inlet, huh? Wow, that is a lot of mantas. Wow. I just can't throw this stuff out fast enough. My gosh. You see all those mantas? That was a ton. Alright, well, I can still explore, but I have to stay on the back. Wow. Big Mama's got a lot of damage already. This is one heck of a dinosaur. Alright. Alright, come on, let's get over here. So now we're coming out here. What's over here? So, let me go test something as well. Alright, if I put her on follow... Will she follow me? Or just bounce to the surface again? She's going to stay up at the surface. Huh. Huh. Alright, well I can deal with that until I get something a little bit better. Alright, so, well I had a plan to actually take her out and go, you know, go explore the depths. But since that's still a thing, you know, I guess I don't have much of a choice but to uh, postpone this. I mean, I could take her to Carno Island, level her up. I think I might do that off camera because she is leveling up really well and really amazing and I want to get her up really high. But I did see a level 10 Quetzal that I think I want to go see if I can uh, tame it up. So why don't we go do that? All right. All right. Let me uh, take this stuff off. Um, wrong button. Quick, don't look. I'm naked again. All right. Oh, hey, got T-Rex eggs waiting. I'm not going to waste you on a level 10 Quetzal. If I can find that level 10 Quetzal again. I was out looking uh, at uh, supply drops to see if I could find me a long rifle. I haven't found a long rifle yet, but I found a level 10 Quetzal. And that was, you know, oh. get out of my base, big mama. I know I told you to do it, but still. All right. Alright, 
so scuba. Let's get that, 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 and that, and that, and then uh, let's take uh, put you over in there. In the ugly flak helmet. All right, let's see. Uh, can I make some more? Weapons, ammo, what am I missing? I'm missing narcotics. I have plenty of narcotics. I'm gonna whip up a bunch of narcotics. All right, a bunch of trank arrows. Repair my rifle. I have hide, I have plenty of hide. And coffee, I need coffee. It's too early in the morning. Ah, all right, coffee. Get those over in there. Did was that a pteranodon that just flew into my house? Did you guys see that? It is. He's right over there. Let me out. Thank you. All right. And also for um, this tame, I'm gonna want a parachute just in case, uh, because things could go wrong quite quickly. And, yeah, I'm gonna want that. So, uh, let's get that, and that, and, uh, let's see, and that, craft. Uh, how much do you weigh? I'm just gonna go with two of those. I'm gonna put those in the same slot that I have the bowl is in currently, because just in case, if things go wrong, I'm gonna wanna be able to hit that. Alright, and I'm gonna need a whole bunch of, uh, narcotics, which I think I have... A bunch on ginger. Let's see. Yeah, I've, uh, no, I'm gonna need more than that. Just in case. Yeah, I'm gonna need more narcotics. Grab some narcotics and bam, bam, and then we're gonna get my butt out here. Come on, ginger. And then we're gonna get moving. All right, so I'm gonna go see if I can find that Quetzal and I will bring you guys back. And I will show you just how uh, to do this. Um, wait, hold on. I forgot my crossbow. <laughs> I wouldn't have gone very far. All right, so uh, you need a crossbow and grappling hooks with this. All right, it's kind of important. All right, Bob, chasing a... Uh... Uh, I think it's level 25. And I'll show you exactly the setup that I have going here in a little bit. But yeah, I'm gonna be doing this. Uh, basically, I've just rebound the uh, attack buttons. And I rebound the attack buttons and rebound the uh, passive buttons, and now I'm just letting uh, Ginger carry me out. And just out here doing all this so I'm um, yeah just constant force stream of doing this stuff and I will bring you guys back when I finally get this thing knocked out
town. All right, so. Perfect placement, too. Oh, yeah. I'm liking that. All right. And let's see. Let's get over here. Uh, yeah. You know, he's not amazing or anything, but you know what? He'll be just fine. All right. So uh, let's get this over there. Get this put back over there. And I'm going to go get me some prime meat, and I'm going to uh, stick a whole bunch on this guy. And his torpor... What's his torpor at? Uh, yeah, it's going down. All right, but I'm going to be uh, going and getting some uh, prime. All right? And I will bring you guys back, all right? See you in a bit. Now, while this guy tames up, okay, I went down and got the first little installment of prime meat. Um, their torpor goes up, or goes down really fast. So you need to make sure that you stay really on top of the narcotics. All right, I'm giving him uh, 20 at a time. And yeah, I brought 500 narcotics. That should be more than enough, all right? Um, and I'm just sticking a bunch of prime meat on him. And I really don't care if I get any taming effectiveness on this first one, all right? Any other ones afterwards? Yeah, I do care. But um, this one right here, I don't. All right, now how I did that, with uh, setting everything up, let me show you. All right, now you go, you load up the crossbow, all right, and then all you do is shoot, shoot your argent, all right, and then um, while that's like that, you switch over um, to your uh, spyglass, and then anything in the distance, all you do is just mouse over it, target it, and then hit attack. Um, or uh, attack this target and I rebound those two keys uh, attack this target and passive Okay, and uh, let me show you and now I just did it to um, oh Attack this target to up the arrow key. All right, and then passive I was down All right, so where they're just right next to each other um, All I have to do is hit up and then it attacks the target and then down and it didn't and then it um, pulls it back and it worked out very well, all right? Um, that was actually only my second time I've ever done that. So, yeah. But it worked out really well. It, the whole thing went off without a hitch. Uh, I started way over there. Way over there by... Yeah, the snow biome way over there. And then it came over here. And I think... I don't even think uh, Ginger hit um, the Quetzal at all. So, yeah, I was pretty fortunate with that. And... Yeah, so now I'm just sitting here waiting for it to uh, get tamed up. And then as soon as uh, the Quetzal is up, and this is my only male. I no longer need a male, so which is very important. Or it's very cool, too. So where my females can be super high level, right? Eh, that's the way it worked out. All right, so I will bring you guys back when this guy gets back on his feet, all right? I'll see you in a bit. Up. Oh, wow, I was just bringing him back a whole bunch more <laughs> prime meat to stick on him. And he just stood up. <laughs> I was not expecting that. Oh, I thought the prime meat that was on it was going to spoil. Oh, that was pretty good stuff. But you know what? This is my first. He's a male. I'm going to call his butt wide load because he can carry a bunch of stuff. Right. That makes sense, right? Right? No, nah, not really. But hey, you know what? I'm fine with that. I'm just so happy to have finally have a Quetzal. Oh, my gosh. All right. I've been dealing doing it without a Quetzal for so long. My gosh. All right, but yeah, that's how you tame a Quetzal. All right, so let me go back over it one more time, just so you know. I know I didn't show too much of it, but I was, and I wasn't talking very much while I was doing it, but you know what? It takes a lot of concentration, so yeah. I mean, it does. <laughs> it takes a lot. All right, so um, here, let me, let me fly his butt back home. Where are we going? Which way is home? Hey, wide load. Which way is home? Uh, you never been there. You don't know. Uh, all right. So I uh, think maybe this way, somewhere over here. This direction, I think. All right. Are you catching up? Are you going slow? A little bit of both. All right. Gotcha. Okay. So we're gonna get this guy home. And I already have. I already went ahead and learned the um. Oh, the regular Quetzal saddle and the platform Quetzal saddle. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to go out 
and get um, some more silica pearls for the uh, for the sad for the platform saddle but that's not really a big problem at all um, especially now that I have uh, big mama so I mean because with her I just equipped the scuba gear go out clear the whole area and then uh, go get all the all the silica pearls I want come on come on dude you can do it all right all right, and I'll take a look at his stats. I mean, he's only 25. His stats aren't going to be that spectacular or anything. This guy right here, he's just going to be a tool. So where I can put a platform saddle on him and then go and um, encase and trap other Quetzals and tame them. And I will show you guys how to do that. Um, it's actually really easy to get... A max level Quetzal that way and that's my goal now uh, now I just have to wait on the Rex eggs so where I can um, kibble tame a you know, high level Quetzal and I think I already have uh, five or six maybe even seven Rex eggs I'll have to take a look when I get back I know the Rexes they've been they've been doing pretty well in the egg department so come on dude come on all right and you got that cool green and black colors oh yeah Oh, man, you're a stylish guy. I might have to rename you to stylish. Call him Quetzal Style. Nah, that doesn't work. <laughs> Quetzal Style. How's that? If you say it like that? Or Quetzal Superstar. Does that one work? No, that one doesn't work at all. <laughs> so, yeah. Alright, let's get this down here. Come on, dude. This is your new home. I chased you down, stuffed a bunch of prime meat on you, shot you with air or darts a bunch of times, and now this is where you live. All right, and also I think there's I'm gonna have to do a major remodeling of the base because the base now that we have the Quetzal, now that we have wide load, it's going to be constantly getting bigger because now I can I can carry Gallimimuses, I can carry um, Dodicruses. Um, I could already carry beavers, and I really have no clue why I haven't tamed a beaver yet, because they're so important. They're another one of those dinosaurs that have superpowers, um, just like uh, Super Duper Pooper. All right, and but, uh, dude, where are you going? Where are you going? Get your butt back here. Yeah. Get back here. That's what I thought. <sighs> just like a little child. Or, you know what? Just like my dog. Just wanders off, you know, just aimlessly. Oh, hey, what's over here? What's over here? And then, you know, he doesn't even realize what's going on. Oh, now you're trapped. Fine. I'll just have you follow me for a little bit while I go craft up your saddle. Let's go see. And then, you know, you have to call him back. Hey, you can't go over that way. And they're like, what? Why can't I go over that way? All right. And, you know, it's just one of those things. All right, so I need 180 metal. No problem. I have that. 220 silica pearls. Don't have that. Cementing paste. I'm not sure how much cementing paste I have. Uh, oh, I have plenty of cementing paste. Silica pearls. Do I have enough for just the cheapo saddle? Because I'll craft the cheapo saddle if I need to. Saddle, quits. All right, I still need, you know what? All right, well, I'm gonna get that done tomorrow and I will see you guys then, cause now, dude, are you gonna sit now? I don't know if he's gonna sit. He's stubborn, all right? Maybe I'll just call him stubborn quits, all right? I don't know. Maybe airhead. Oh yeah, airhead. He's got that mohawk, you know? Not saying that all people with Mohawks. I like Mohawks. They're pretty cool. All right. All right. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Until then, this is Fligger Foo saying, hey, take it easy, everyone.